So predictions of a Mini 3 and Mini FPV later this year have ignited the drone world again. Two new small consumer friendly drones are on the way. Or is it just one? Don't go away. Hey guys, Mike here and welcome back to the channel. As you no doubt have already seen, according to a leaked roadmap, DJI plans to release multiple new products this year, including a successor to the wildly popular DJI Mini 2, the Mini 3. Not only that, but potentially an FPV Mini drone, an Inspire 3 drone, and a Pocket 3 camera. Speaking of FPV, if you want to experience the immersive experience of FPV with your Mini 2 drone, stick around until the end where you could go in the draw to win your very own drone mask. More on that later. At Deals Drone on Twitter published a table that outlines products that DJI has or will release up until the end of 2022. If it's to be believed, the table outlines that DJI will release a number of devices this year, including a Mini 3 drone in April and an FPV Mini in July. Now, to be fair, we need to stress that it is unclear where At Deals Drone obtained this sheet. However, if the Chinese characters are translated, we can see that they do point out that these dates are guesses, and it could be based on past product releases or estimates based on how these products are developing in the workshop. We still don't know anything about these products or if they really are coming to the market. To me though, the exciting thing that is if the document is genuine, but the dates are wrong, at least there's some confirmation that a Mini 3 is on the way. A refresh to DJI's cheapest and smallest consumer drone, the Mini 2, would not come as any surprise to anyone. A new and improved Mini 2 could have increased flight time, improved camera specs, new features like obstacle avoidance and active tracking, and maybe even a version of Master Shots, Spotlight, or Point of Interest, whilst staying under that crucial 250 gram weight. The success of DJI's Mini series has caused companies like Autel to join in the competition with its Nano series of drones and caused the sub 250 gram drone market to heat up considerably. Now on the Mini 3, serial leaker Ozita LV joined in the speculation on Twitter, showing a concept of what they believe would come if a Mini 3 is indeed in the works. First, they stated the Mini 3 would have a new aerodynamic design with sloped wings, allowing for larger propeller blades which, when paired with an extended battery, would mean increased flight time. Other features include a lightweight but strong carbon fibre skeleton, a system on a chip integrated circuit, a larger 1 over 1.28 inch CMOS sensor with AI and computational photography, a 10 km range utilising OcuSync 3 and forward and backward optical sensors. But yes, this is just a concept. Hopefully we'll find out more information with some hard facts sooner rather than later. But for now, it's all a bit of guesswork. Now even more exciting is the potential for an FPV Mini. If this is real, it would be interesting to know if this was just a cheaper and less feature rich version of the DJI FPV drone, allowing for a more budget friendly version to get more people into the market, or if this was something that is a little bit more purpose built for FPV racing. But wait, given the lack of confirmation that the leaked timeline is even real, there is some debate going on in drone circles if the FPV Mini is an actual product or if it's just misconstrued rumours of FPV support coming to the Mini 3 instead. So this could mean no FPV Mini, but instead maybe the Mini 3 will support DJI's FPV goggles. However, that was speculated for the Air 2S and it didn't come true, so who knows. Having said all that, even if wires have been crossed, DJI would be smart to take notice given the success of the FPV drone. Take what they've learned and put it into a smaller package. Either way, it's going to be fun to see how it all develops. If they are doing a standalone FPV Mini, but with essentially very similar capability to the current DJI FPV, oh my lord. Can you imagine the videos we'll see from people who are actually skilled FPV pilots? Not me. Now I say similar capability because with everything being smaller, it probably wouldn't be able to match say the speed of its big brother. But having said that, if it couldn't go a maximum speed of 140 kilometers an hour like the big one can, and maxed out at say a paltry 80 kilometers, I think we'd cope right? The other thing to consider is that they may or may not worry about the 250 gram weight threshold. It really depends on their motivation. Are they wanting another drone under that weight so it can avoid the restrictions put on larger and heavier drones or are they just wanting a smaller FPV drone and don't care what weight it is? So what do you reckon? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway you go, it's great fun to chat about and to speculate and I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any news. Now recently I reviewed a product called a drone mask. This is an innovative product made by a startup company based in Norway. Now these allow you to enjoy the immersive experience of flying a regular drone like the Mini 2 with very little setup or cost. It's the closest thing you can get to an FPV experience by flying your regular drone. 
Now, one of the things that has prevented me from getting and trying the DJI FPV drone and goggles was, to be honest, a review I saw from another non-FPV flyer that talked about how he suffered from motion sickness when using the drone and goggles, and it took him a very long time to get used to it. Now, I love the idea of FPV, but to be honest, I am a bit prone to motion sickness, so that kind of put me off. But the drone mask is different. I could get what I wanted to get from an FPV experience, but without the motion sickness feeling. It was totally immersive and actually helped me fly the drone better. Now, I know that sounds a little bit weird, but because I could see more of the view from the drone up close without the annoying reflection that you normally get off the phone screen, it allowed me to appreciate the view even more and then plan and execute my moves with more accuracy. I've done a full review of the drone mask and covered off all the details. I'll put a link in the description below for you to check it out. Now, the drone mask was released late last year and they're available at $169. US I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check them out for yourself. So to go in the draw to win your very own drone mask, it's really simple. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel and then make a comment in the section below making sure you put hashtag drone mask, all one word, somewhere in your comment. I'll use an online program designed for this type of competition to go through all of the qualifying comments and select one at random. Check out the review using the link on screen now and I'll see you over there. Cheers guys.